Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, back with another requested item, getting Hyper Neo Geo 64 to work. The devil's in the details with this one, much like the CDI. We're going to start over on the uh, desktop mode, and of course, you're going to have to obtain these ROM sets on your own. There are seven games for Hyper Neo Geo, and there are BIOS files. Now, the devil is in the details, and the details are the BIOS file that you need is difficult to obtain. So we got seven games plus the BIOS. If we open that zip file, we will see uh, all the files within. There are three files that are typically not included in any ROM set that you download off the internet. These three files, if they're not in there, this doesn't work. So keep downloading until you find one that has these three files in it uh, because it's futile to actually try to do this without it. Okay, so we've got all eight files. Now we're gonna go to emulation and ROMs. Now, of course, we're assuming you have Emudec already installed and working. Now me, I like to keep all my arcade games in the arcade folder. So you can see I have a bunch of main Final Burn Neo games all in here. And normally speaking, if I were gonna keep these games, I would copy them all here. But in the case of today, I'm just gonna put them in main because I have no other games in there. And main is the emulator that we're gonna be using for this. So by default, this should run with the standalone system-wide main. Go ahead and copy those files on over and quick and dirty. That's really it. I mean, the whole, the whole problem with getting this thing to work is finding the right set of BIOS files. So again, Emudex installed, and we are going to go ahead and run Emulation Station. And that should pick up those new games in the main folder. All right, so normally, like I said, I would have them all in arcade because that's where I like it, but um, people like to separate stuff out a little bit more, and that's cool. So we're gonna find MAME here in our list, and there she is. And you can see the seven games have been indeed picked up and have been enumerated, which is cool. So now let's see if it works. Now, it works right out of the box for me. Now the question is, did it work right out of the box for you? Well, that depends on a couple of things. I'm gonna go through a few troubleshooting things to help you just in case for some reason, yours didn't just magically work like mine. I don't do just happy path on this channel. I give you guys uh, the full full meal deal. So the first thing you can try is to make sure that the games within the MAME folder here are actually running with MAME. I know it seems weird to think otherwise, but if you go and edit a game's metadata and scroll down to alternative emulator, and I did this instead of doing it globally because you might have other stuff in here. You wanna make sure that these games, at least these seven games, are all using main current system wide. Main current system wide. Now you may not have MAME installed, but this option will still appear. So make sure that that's set and then try it again. And uh, if that doesn't work, it probably means that your MAME standalone is not properly installed. So let's go and fix that little problem. So we're gonna to go to Emudac. And this is pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. No need to be discouraged. All right, so we're gonna go into Manage Emulators and then you're gonna scroll down until you see MAME. Nice big letters, there it is. And go ahead and hit Reinstall Update. You could, you could try resetting configuration too, but Reinstall Update's probably gonna solve your problem. Now, once you've done that, it's time to give it another go. Again, the devil's in the details with this. It's all about making sure you have that right BIOS file with the right files inside to make this guy work. Listen, I hope you like what you saw. If you did, you guys know what to do. Uh, hit that like button, hit the bell, get notified of our future videos, and of course, uh, subscribe if you like the content that I'm putting out. All right, listen, I'm Shane Armand Rowe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody.